Okay, race 29 on yours, mine, and everybody's card. It's a two mile, four furlong, 0 to 130 handicap. De Murgo for Tan King comes to fruition. Joshua Sutherland, Lano Teta for Darren Thompson. Smoke on the Sunset for Martin Leader. Montrose for David Robertson. Active for Obi Wan. Lusty Gray for Pontypool. Fire Trap and Albatross for Kevin Minahan. Dell Lady for Del Hinton. Wolf for James Vice. Met Twice and Swish Villa for Alex Cherry. Make up 13. Over, I think, three miles to win the EBF Mayor's Handicap Hurdle. I remember that the order's not already away. It's two and a half miles. We're into the first hurdle of 11. Everybody skips over that, but a bit of an error just by Wolf there. He's lost a bit of momentum and dropped to the rear. But we're going to be led by Swish and Villa. He's already taken a couple of lengths out of the rest of the field. He's in the centre of the course. He gets over the second. He's a little bit slow. One against the fence is Del Lady in the pink. But it's still Swish Villa. Moves over towards the rail now. And uh, comfortably takes it up by a good two to three lengths to Del Lady. Then we've got Montrose, Lusty Gray, De Murgo, the Grey against the fence. Followed through by Smoke on the Sunset. Wolf comes to fruition. Then we've got Green Silks of Fire Trap and Albatross. Yellow Silks out wide of Active. And just the two at the rear at the moment are met twice in that Lana Teta. So we're still being led by Swish Lady. Swiss Villa, sorry. Maybe she should be a lady. That's because Del Lady's second. But it is Swish Villa. Swinging out right handed here. Straighten up. Has to cut away here. And get to the fourth. Lead is over it. A little bit quicker than the pack behind. Maintains his lead from the grey, lusty, lusty grey. The outside of that is Wolf now. He's done well from his poor jump at the first. We've got Del Lady in Montrose and the Grey de Murgo. Fire trap on the inside and the orange green silks and the orange cap. And met twice. Followed through by comes to fruition. Active out wide. Lano Teta and Albatross and Smoke on the sunset together. As they reach the fifth, the leaders are over it. As is everybody else. We're going to go past the grandstand with a circuit to go. And that'll be the last next time round. A very short run in, as you can see there. So, you certainly want to be leading when you get over that last hurdle. So, it's Swish Villa that's going to lead us on out again. Six hurdles to take. Swish Villa from Wolfing up, moved up into second now. Del Lady's third, Lusty Grey four. Against the fence, Montrose, the Grey de Murgo. And then follows through by Met twice and comes to fruition on the outside. And then Lana Teta, Fire Trap, Smoke on the Sunset. Albatross and active. So we finally get to the sixth hurdle. Everybody skips over it. A couple of little uh, slow jumps towards the rear. But Swishville is now joined by Wolf on his outside. They're a length and a half ahead of Lusty Grey, Montrose and Del Lady together. And we've got about three links back to the rest. They're just being led by it comes to fruition now. And now wide fire trap. We get to the seventh. The leaders skipped over it. As does the remainder. Although Albatross was a bit slow at the rear. And got himself a little bit disconnected. But up front, Swish Villa and Wolf being joined by Lusty Grey now. On the outside is Del Lady Montrose. And still a couple of lengths ahead of the rest. They get over the eighth. One that's jumping well now is Fire Trap. He's moved up on his own. He's about sixth position. But up front, still Swish Villa leading us inside the final five furlong. Sorry, five and a half furlong. So Swish Villa from Del Lady on the outside. Montrose, Lusty Grey, Wolf, Fire Trap. These are two to three lengths ahead of the rest. They get over the ninth. There's only going to be two more hurdles after this. And the one that's split out of the three is Del Lady. Del Lady takes it up now from half a length from Montrose. Swish Villa seems to have probably run his race now. But it's Del Lady and Montrose at least. Swish Villa's got the inside and hanging on in there. But he's well off the bridle. So it's Del Lady, Montrose, Swish Villa. Couple of links back to Lusty Graham. Fire Trap moving well out of the pack now. Met twice and smoke on the sunset. But up front is Montrose challenged again by Del Lady as he get down to three furlongs from home. It's Del Lady from Montrose. Swishville is still there. They get over that. It's Del Lady that still leads us by a couple now to Montrose. Swishville on the outside. Fire Trap. Lusty Gray running on, but I don't think it's going to be between these three at the front. It's Del Lady and Montrose. Fire Trap's a couple of lengths back. Swish Valley's Villa starting to go backwards now. It's a furlong and a half and just one to jump. We know there's not much of a run in and it's Del Lady that's starting to pull away again here. It's going to be another win for Del Hinton. What a week he's having.
We're inside the final furlong. Rusty Gray making a good old bash, and as long as he gets over that, we've only got half a furlong to run now. Running on fast is Rusty Gray. Is he going to catch him? He's certainly not. It is another win for Mr. Hinton. I don't know what you've been doing, Del. I don't know whether you run your horses in the first seven weeks or in the wrong wrong distances, but another win for Dell. Well done with Dell Lady. Second was Lusty Gray for Pontypool Racing. Third is Firetrap for Kevin Meenham. Fourth is Montrose for David Robertson. And fifth is Swish Villa for Alex Cherry.